everyone, it's Amy and today I wanted to do a special quick reveal actually of this little cutie bag. This is the mini Palm Spring backpack and I asked you guys on Instagram if you don't follow me there, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at fashionablyamy which is the exact same name as this channel. I asked you guys a while back whether I should get this or the Celine Nano luggage and a lot of you said Actually, it's kind of 50-50. I didn't actually count, but I felt like there was always someone who was pro one or the other. And uh, truth be told, I actually did get the Celine Nano. And I took it home and I changed my mind the next day I returned it because I... I don't know, I, I still love the bag. Uh, the strap was definitely way too long on me. And if I could have both, I would keep both or get both. Um, but I could only choose one because I'm not crazy and I don't want to buy two of the same size bags. Uh, they would both kind of serve more or less the same purpose. So it would be, you know, kind of everyday downsizing. But not only that, it would be sort of like a travel, sort of carefree bag for me. And um, it needed to be comfortable and look good on me, obviously. And uh, I think actually the Nano, the... The Nano has a little bit more uh, sort of um, dressy look in a sense. Uh, not that this one cannot because once you hold it by the little handle here, it will sort of almost feel like more dressed up. Casual dressy if that makes sense. So in the end I opted for this one because I just feel like this one is even more carefree. I will talk about a few pros and cons. I will say though that this is not a bag that I loved at first sight and i still don't think that i like you know i'm completely crazy about it but i really like it like i i do like it enough that i i feel like it's 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 something i want to keep and it's different enough it, it is unique and it's something that i look forward to wearing more and that i feel like i would reach more for because that's really important obviously literally the size of a head it's really small uh, but it does fit quite a bit but let me just start off with some uh, pros it's obviously really cute it's very squishy it's quite careless uh, the canvas and the black is just great but it comes with uh, four straps actually but you kind of attach two of them together to make one and I only plan to use it as a crossbody this little handle is very well made very comfortable it looks really trendy uh, obviously it's a backpack but it's not really used as a backpack for me and for a lot of people I'm sure uh, but I feel like even though the trend dies it's still a bag that a lot of us will still continue to wear because it's not really a backpack the way we're wearing it but even though it is kind of trendy like the actual trend and the actual design of the bag is kind of trendy um, I feel like it's still classic enough just because it is in monogram canvas and I don't see myself not wearing this even 10 years down the road. Cons for me definitely are the zipper. It's not the easiest zipper to get in and out of, but I did find a trick and I will show you guys. And uh, the other thing that I think it's mostly a con is while these two little tabs here on the side are super cute and they do add to the bag in terms of look, I can see that they can easily sort of frail and um, just get worn out and I did read on the forums that they can separate because I do wear a crossbody like this so this kind of hits my left hip or leg front of my leg so this part here the d-ring and the leather piece here maybe even the corner here keeps um, hitting my leg when I walk and that's but that's only when I walk with the bag hanging in front of me the crossbody so that's something that I did notice. In order to mitigate that, I have to place the bag to the side of me. The other thing is because the strap is quite thin and maybe because it's brand new, it's still quite, you know, it's, I won't describe it as stiff, but it's hard. Like it's not, um, it's not as soft and uh, as flexible. I mean, no, it's still flexible, but it's not as soft as some leather can be like the one the empreinte leather in my twice, the strap, even though it is thin, it's very comfortable. For some reason, this one isn't. And also, uh, the fact that it has these two little, uh, little uh, 
protruding balls here so depending on where they hit they kind of fit on you so if I'm wearing it crossbody like this this ball if it was like facing the other side then it keeps hitting me the other con that I have is the front pocket here is obviously really small a lot of you might have seen other people's reviews where they just don't put anything in it I still put something inside but I will definitely not be reaching for it anytime soon it's more for emergency so I did uh, put a lip balm inside I put a SD card and I put a hair tie so that's what I have in the front it fits perfectly no problem uh, but so those would be my emergency items so while I appreciate having a little pocket in front for my emergency things I do think it's kind of silly that it's so hard to reach inside because it is so small the opening I think you literally have to like push the bag down and then reach for it but the thing is once your bag is because right now it's empty once you fill it up then it's not as easy to push it down the way that I've noticed uh, that makes it a lot easier to open in my opinion is just to hold it by the handle actually and by adding a little charm you guys know that I'm not crazy about charms but for whatever reason this bag just works with charms especially an oversized charm so I got this from eBay uh, from a seller called Queen, Queen Fur I think and I will link it down below if you guys are interested easiest way for me is to actually hold it by the handle and use the, the zipper this way for some reason like right now I'm not positioned like if it was lower it would be easier but for whatever reason when I hold it like this and you just pull the zipper like you would normally do it is a lot easier than holding on to the zipper and then trying to open it uh, same with when I close it except that when I close once it got, gets to here then I have to hold the bag so that way is a little bit easier for me I do want to show you what kind of things that I like to put inside and how I like to organize it so if you open it up there's also another pocket inside it's a decent size but not super big and what I like to do is put my car keys inside and you might wonder it's gonna be really hard to reach it actually isn't because um, what I figure out is that I can just hold it like this and I reach I reach I basically reach inside and that's probably the easiest way for me this is pretty much uh, what I would comfortably take with me every single day I mean there is kind there's space for like a coin purse and something thin or another clay of course but I don't like to overload it because then everything becomes a little bit harder to reach and to most of the time put it back putting it back is when it annoys me and as you all know I always need my camera I always sits on the on the side here I like it like this because um, the the side where the screen is sits here on the fabric which is fine and also the frame here sits against the fabric of this little pouch in the middle right here I always put this little pouch here I can also fit a mini pochette but I just feel that this one is a little bit smaller and just a little bit easier to use in this bag I find like usual I have a bag holder some floss I also have a spare battery which I removed from the pouch just because I'm charging it right now and just to show you that the mini pochette does fit inside uh, in the same manner but it just I don't know if you can tell you just have to like you know you have to tuck it you have to like push it it's just a little bit harder but it's obviously possible the next thing I have is my card case this will act as my wallet I have a bit of cash here on top and my keys and lastly I have my phone I like to put my phone this way I find it easy enough to take it in and out because usually I just use one hand to shove everything on the side and then I insert it on the side um, there is a faster way to put my phone I would I could normally just put it in front of everything like this uh, I just find that if my phone is in there then I want to reach for something else then it just makes it a little bit more cumbersome okay, for those of you who wonder I have the Nexus 6 which is even bigger than the iPhone 6 plus so just so you can see how versatile this bag really is and how great it looks even though I'm sort of semi 
dressy right now especially if I put on some heels and it looks great even just like a, a side shoulder bag like this and even if I wore it crossbody so it, it looks really cute and it's quite versatile let me show you what I meant by opening it really easy like this I it just it takes no effort if I put a charm in there and then I sort of just kind of hold it by the handle it's so easy and then uh, to reach inside for the keys I kind of just like hold it like this so that I can tilt the bag for my arm to reach inside a little bit easier and I find my keys it's really 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 easy it was really difficult at first but once I figured that out I was very pleased and you know how I like to put my phone like this so every time I want to put it back in I just make sure that everything is lined up and pushed to the side and I just use my opposite hand to put it back in I really did I really do love it at first I wasn't quite sure it was sort of like kind of hard to get in and out but now that I figured it out it's actually quite easy now I will say right now this guy this right here is bothering my collarbone but that's just me I know it's not everybody you will not have that problem uh, and also because I have my strap quite short I'm only 5'4 but I am quite petite so I have it on the third hole from so one two three the third hole from the shorter strap so it kind of does dig into me here because this small strap here just ends and it just digs into here but if I put it on the side and it's fine of course if I put it in the back then it's fine too this corner right here along with this leather piece it just digs into my leg I suppose every time I take a step just enough that it bothers me so I would actually just move this to another d-ring and it works out perfectly I just move it to here so now the bag effectively sits higher and right here is my hip bone and it doesn't hit me anymore So there you have it this is my first impression review of this mini backpack I am very pleased with it and I think I made the right choice um, like I said there's pros and cons but the pros outweighs the cons in this case and I'm so happy I got it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions don't hesitate to let me know down below I will for sure do a more in-depth review once I really get to use it and of, of course I'll be able to report more on the wear and tear thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will talk to you again very soon bye I believe that the Keta will always patina it will always continue to patina uh, I don't think there is a point where it actually stops per se.